Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to unlock the Razer M, Razer HD. Um, it works for any GSM carrier, T-Mobile, AT&T, and so on. Um, so basically, what you want to do is install the two zip, zip files I've included in the uh, description. Install them. It's going to be a DF, DFS program, and then it's going to be a driver package. Install the drivers first, and then and then the DFS. Um, I had issues with uh, Windows 7 64-bit. So I had to revert to a 32, to 32 bit. So if you're having that issue, you might want to revert to 32 bit. You don't have to be rooted or have a custom ROM or anything. You could be on stock, you know, stock Verizon software, which is I think it's 4.1.4.1.2 4 uh, Joby. So basically, here's the razor. What you want to do is put it into a bootloader mode, which is a volume up, volume down, and a power button. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then basically after that, once you get this menu, you want to go to, to uh, BP Tools and then press the volume up. So it's volume down, 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 and to select it's volume up. So let that boot up for a second. And then let's look at it. while this booting up, so it's a Verizon phone. So you got the Droid logo and everything. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up the DFS program. I'm just going to open it up beforehand, so there you go. It's going to be a countdown, but you probably want to say the phone is booted up. So basically, you're probably going to wait. Just wait until the driver's installed if you're doing this for the first time. So the drivers are going to install first, so let me just plug this in real fast. And I'm going to include um, the instructions on how to do this. Okay, so basically, here's the application. There we go. Here's the application. So you got the phone on. It's just regular. You know, the phone is on. So you got the application. What you want to do is you want to click on, on the ports button. Select the Motorola QC Guide port. Okay, you're gonna click it. And you're gonna and you just close out. So you should see it on the bottom right here. And then what you want to do is you're gonna go here. I'm gonna say you go to DM. Select Qualcomm. And then you see where it says the SPC. And you click on zero and then click start. And you should have, it says right there, see? You should get this device unlocked. Okay, what you're gonna do is afterwards, you're gonna go to NV and you're gonna type in, and you're gonna type in from start, you're gonna type in, let me see here, you're gonna type in. Eight three two three. So you do eight three two three, and then here end, and then end. You're gonna type in eight three two two. Okay. Yeah, eight three two two, and then you're gonna click read. Oh, I'm sorry, I misplaced it. This is, sorry, sorry. T type in a start 8322 and then here 8323. 8323. Sorry about that. So there you go, like that. Click start. And you see, you get item. You get item right there. It says, sorry about this phone. Zoom is not there. Item 8322. You want to do is click on it. And then I already changed mine. But you're going to get 000. You want to change it. Because there'll be a couple of numbers in these two sections, you want to change them to zero, 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 zero. Okay, so basically, it'll be all zeros pretty much. So if you have any numbers here, like one or whatever, just change them all to zeros. Okay, so once you do that, once you do that, just click on. So basically, you're going to place the one to a zero. And then once you do that, you want to click on apply changes. Okay, apply changes, and then and then click on right selected item. Okay, and then basically you want to reload it again. Click and reload again to make sure it changed, because sometimes it doesn't, and then, and then do it again. Apply change, make sure it's a zero, and then do it again. Apply changes, and then 
right select it and then basically what you want to do is close it out click on close application okay and then basically what you want to do is just basically unplug your phone turn off your phone okay just basically going to shut down your phone Okay, so basically, and just power, put your SIM card in, you know. Put your, put your SIM card in, T-Mobile, AT&T, Simple, Mobile, whatever you guys have, you know, a GSM, some active SIM card, obviously. And then just, let's hold on. Let's hold on. Let's hold on for a second. Once the phone boots up, because I actually just, this is my wife's phone, so. Here's mine. Okay, so let me just type in the password real fast. Then basically just give it a you know just give it a, a minute. And then this right here. And then basically so you got this right there. So it's all loading up. And then you got right there, you got see H plus from T Mobile. You're gonna get an unknown sim. That's that's it only comes up when you boot the phone so that's the issue but you have I get about here in Chicago I'll get about 18 19 megabytes down about six upload so when you get right there see H plus and what I could actually do is here's my phone right here what I could do real fast here speed to test I'm indoors right now so it's not the strongest but I still get two two symbols so here you go let me do a speed test on here let's see what it gives me Indoors in my house. Let's see. Uh, the ping is really weird, but yeah, right there. See, there you go. You get about a, about a 14 and a half, and then uploads about what? About two, three. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. So, all right. And I'm gonna put the instructions and. In uh, I'm going to put the instruction also, so hope you guys enjoy. If you have any comments, please please subscribe, please follow to me. And um, thanks to everybody, thanks to XDA developers who who, who helped with this. I mean, obviously, it's other, you got to support XDA. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I just made a video tutorial how to do it. All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy, guys. Please subscribe and comment if you like it. Thank you.